the only natural lake in the state of Texas and an East Texas treasure. Take your canoe and paddle under the bald cypress trees draped with Spanish moss, or take a hike in the woods and see the lesser known side of Caddo Lake State Park. Come join us and let's see what Caddo Lake State Park is all about. Entrance fee is $4 daily and children under 12 are free. This is a Civilian Conservation Corps built state park. They built things to last and you have to admire the craftsmanship as soon as you enter the park. We checked into park headquarters and here you can rent canoes, purchase souvenirs and check out a cool interactive museum. The museum is great for kids and my son loved it. The museum is interactive and has fun facts about the wildlife, plants, and Cato Indians who occupied the lands years ago. Alligators do occupy these waters, and Cato Lake State Park harbors more than 70 species of fish. After we checked out the museum, we rented a canoe. I will leave the pricing of the canoe rentals in the description if you wanted to check that out. We picked up some life vests provided by the park and got the keys to unlock the canoes. You can rent the canoes hourly or for the day. After driving past the park headquarters, the road turns to a one-way. We are heading to Sawmill Pond to get our canoe. The paddles are located in the shed by the pond. The keys for the canoes also unlock the shed. We get the paddles and ready to explore. Cattle Lake State Park has over 50 miles of paddling trails. On our visit, they have plenty of canoes. If you visit this park, I definitely recommend renting one. We're excited and ready to canoe. We're hoping to see some alligators while we paddle. Isaac, are you ready to canoe? Yes, Dad. Are we going to see some alligators? I hope so, but we're going to keep our distance. Sawmill Pond is the point of interest. Here you get to view the beautiful bald cypress trees draped in Spanish moss. As you paddle, you get a front row seat and view wildlife in action from birds, turtles, and even alligators. The trails were clearly marked on the trees and after paddling for a half a mile, we reached the Big Cypress Bayou. The water in this area averages around 20 feet and you will see folks boating and jet skiing here. Caddo Lake is the only natural lake in the state of Texas. Scientists believe the lake was formed when floodwaters blocked by a massive log jam known as the Great Raft. The canoes were great and could fit two adults and a small child. My wife wanted to give it a go and she enjoyed paddling on the lake. It was our first time on a canoe. It was easy to balance and definitely recommend checking one out when visiting the park. Let me know in the comments if you would kayak or canoe here knowing alligators are in the water. I would love to hear from you guys and hear what you have to say. Now we're going to check out the other points of interest and trails. Point of interest, view of the past. Here, the CCC built the rec hall for dining and barracks for sleeping in the 1930s. The barracks were converted to cabins upon completion of the park. Today, you can rent them ranging from $40 to $150 per night. To learn more about cost and reserving a cabin, I'll leave the link in the description below. Looking for a hike in the hills? Check out Pine Ridge Loop Trail to see the lesser known side of Caddo Lake State Park. This trail is under a mile and difficulty is moderate. Most of the trail is well shaded and this is a great hike for families. This short trail does have some elevation change. You want to pack some bug spray while hiking here at Cato Lake State Park. Mosquitoes were everywhere. That didn't stop us from enjoying this short family friendly hike. If you're looking to stretch your legs, check this one out. The Cato Forest Trail is another short hike with the difficulty of moderate. Experience the historical and natural world of the Cato Lake State Park. We are hiking to another point of interest of the park, the Civilian Conservation Corps Pavilion. Along this trail, they have fun facts to read about the CCC and the history of Cato Lake.
Here we are at the CCC Pavilion. Here is where the men of the CCC would gather in the 1930s with family and friends, almost 100 years later and it still stands today. Once you see the bald cypress trees, you know you're getting closer to the lake. This trail does loop around, but we decided to check out the boating area. We seen some folks jet skiing and tubing. They also had some picnic areas, but it was closed off due to recent flooding. So, what did you think of Cato Lake State Park? Will you visit the only natural form lake here in Texas? I think it's a great park to enjoy time with your family, hiking, fishing, or enjoying time on the water. Cato Lake State Park is a must visit. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to learn more before you visit a Texas State Park. What park would you recommend us visit next? We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.